My name is Goodluck Shamala. I'm the owner of Kenya Kite Surfing School, and I'm also the instructor. Kite surfing wasn't as popular in Kenya when Goodluck first got into water sports. But his love for kites and boards started immediately the sport was introduced in Kenya nearly 20 years ago. Uh, at the beginning, I was supposed to be a diver. But when I came to the beach, first time, which was 2004, then I just fell in love with kite surfing. I saw it was a new sport. Since it's a nature sport, then I think it's the nature behind which pushed me to the sport. Because we love it because it's a nature sport. Normally we just depend on the wind. And after years of training and surfing experience, Good Luck managed to set up one of the very few locally owned kite surfing schools along the Kenyan south coast. Just start with what you have. Then that's eventually how I came up, doing some freelance and saved some cash. Then I started with one kite, two kites, three kites. Then I said, okay, now there's still a long way. And that's why I came up with the logo, the slogan. My slogan is always from zero to hero, you know. You have to start from nothing to something. Kite surfing has over the years grown into a popular recreational sport along the Kenyan coast. It's still widely seen as an expensive leisure activity, forcing many locals to shy away from it. However, good luck hopes he can change this narrative soon. So this sport is more, we're doing business, but out of business, it's like, you know, I had a dream, like the dream is to promote more locals, at least to get to that level of, you know, you know other people. Because it's loved international, but now also locals, it has to, to come back home. And to come back home, we have to love the sport and have the passion for the sport to help other people to bring them up. The kite surfing school attracts many foreign tourists and water sport enthusiasts who make up the majority of his students. However, recently, he has managed to influence a good number of locals that have embraced and taken up the sport. Kite surfing is so beautiful, I tell you. When you're out in the water, it's only you and your kite and the waves. And it's so beautiful and you're really in that moment. It's like in the now and the now. You cannot be in the, kite, in the water kiting and you're thinking about whatever troubles you have back at home. You have to concentrate, you have to be there, you're enjoying the time there and then. It's so beautiful. Mohamed Abubakar for CGTN, Diani, Kenya.